Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne and welcome back to another Money Making Monday. This is a random stuff edition. All kinds of interesting and unusual things that sellers just like you have sold over the last couple of months on eBay. These sales come from my Facebook group where every Monday we have a thread where sellers post what they found, where they found it, how much they paid for it, and how much it sold for, along with any other interesting information so we can all learn about what to watch for that actually sells. So let's get started. We're going to start off with Courtney. This was her first eBay sale, so congratulations, Courtney. Welcome to the dark side. She sold these beautiful clogs. These are Dansko red patent leather. She paid $5 at Goodwill and they sold for $45 plus shipping. And she said that they passed the soul test, which Dansko, Born, Clark's, brands that have that composite type sole, it's, it's not quite rubber, it's not quite plastic, it's just this material that can dry rot and crumble. So whenever you are purchasing any of those types of comfort shoes or even fashion shoes that have that rubbery composite sole, you want to twist the shoe to see if it cracks, breaks, or crumbles because that can happen. can also happen if the shoes have been in storage in your home or wherever you're storing your inventory so you want to check that before you actually ship them these are on some of the older shoes they have changed the material in the past few years so if you're selling shoes that are older this may be a problem but congratulations to Courtney for her first sale and no stopping her now <laughs> she's gonna be hooked Okay, Ashley paid a dollar at an estate sale for this black and silver belt buckle with an eagle. It's got like a coin with an eagle on it. She sold that for $34.65 and it sold in less than a week. Now here's a random item. KC paid $2.75 for these magazines. It's a lot of 11 Alpinist rock climbing magazines and he says it was the final sale of these magazines bringing the total to $388 for about 24 of them sold in a couple of months and purchased at the Habitat for Humanity Restore so if you have a Habitat for Humanity Restore it's where they resell stuff um, Check it out. It's not just furniture. It's all kinds of different things. And really, being a picker, you want to check out any opportunities to buy stuff. So go in there, walk around, see what you can find. He found these magazines there and made pretty good profit on uh, 24 magazines, total of $388. So who knew? Okay, Suzanne Keen bought this credit card wallet on eBay for $11 with free shipping because I have sold this brand before with good returns. Listed for $39.99 with best offer. Sold it for $30, but buyer never paid. Relisted and sold it this week for $33.50 plus shipping. Buyer left great feedback. So that is a great strategy if you have problem sourcing, you don't have good stuff in your area, you are a caregiver or disabled and your your time is not your own, you can't just leave and go shop whenever you want. You can definitely find stuff on eBay to flip all the time. It's just a matter of learning how to do it. Here's the proof right here. Okay, Janice found this beauty at a garage sale, paid a dollar. It had never been opened, sold in two weeks for $89.99. This is Tolkien, The Lord of the Rings, red leather book in box, nine, oh, sorry, 1987. So a collectible Lord of the Rings book. And look at that beautiful tooled cover. 
I mean, that just looks pretty. That just looks like something that a collector would want. Even if it wasn't Lord of the Rings, it's still a pretty book. She paid a dollar and it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Okay, this has to be one of the most randomest items ever. Sue Ann bought this at Goodwill for $4 and it sold in five months. This is Campfire Kids Indoor Camping Plastic Fire Log with Marshmallows and Hot Dogs. So this is pretend play food that she bought for $4 and it sold for $42.99 plus almost $15 shipping. Only on eBay, only in America can you see people paying this kind of money for pretend food, play food. Um, the sale just just cracked me up with the, the fake hot dogs and fake marshmallows. Um, so check out that play food. It absolutely sells. Okay, we've got Eileen. She paid $12 for this set of 12 guideposts mystery books. Declined a super low offer. Sold for full asking price of $71.99 plus shipping. Took one week to sell. This is a lot of 12 guidepost cozy mysteries of Martha Vineyard's books and then the book numbers like new. And she did mention this in the interview we did a few months ago that she sells a lot of books and she sells them in sets. And I think she was waiting to find a few more of these to complete the set or um, maybe she hadn't listed them yet, but in her interview she does talk about these books. So I'm glad to see they did sell for her. All right, Anissa paid $2 at an estate sale, sold in about a month for $20. Not a big profit, but super easy to list, so it was worth it to me. And this is one of those dead tech kind of items like a lot of people don't buy film for their camera anymore so you would think who would want this this is new in box four pack kodak ultra max film and it says it expired in 2012 not a problem to sell that if you are selling it as vintage or collectible but um, also this is not going to be consumed or put into or on the human body so it doesn't really matter that it is expired um, but yeah definitely there are still people that use what's called dead tech this is a great example of that so just because you wouldn't use it doesn't mean somebody else wouldn't so this was a great flip two dollars she sold it for twenty Okay, Joel paid a dollar at a place selling Amazon returns from pallets they bought. Took about two days to sell. This is a nicotine replacement therapy. He paid a dollar. It sold for $65. That's a pretty random item, something you don't see every day. Sue Ann bought at Goodwill for $8. Took nine months to sell. This is a Disney Tigger Christmas Airblown Inflatable. So this is one of those big blow up things people put in their yards at Christmas time. And this actually sold in August, but driving that point home that eBay knows no seasons, Christmas sells all year. If you have it listed, somebody was looking for this and she had it up for sale for about nine months. So she put it up for sale right after Christmas the previous year and finally it sold in August. Anisha always look for these kids books in the who is who was book series. I usually get them for 50 cents or less so I have less than ten dollars in this lot. Sold for $53.99 plus shipping. Took less than a month. So you can see what the books look like there. She said ten dollars and sold them for fifty three ninety nine okay we've got Ashley again she paid five dollars at a church sale sold in about a week for thirty two dollars plus shipping this is a NASA space camp shuttle suit astronaut uh, suit for kids coveralls so it's got the patches on there NASA space shuttle space camp 
and that was five dollars and she sold it for 32. Then we've got Kat who got this for free yesterday from a neighbor's yard sale. Leftovers sold within hours for full price. This is a Reba as in Reba McIntyre complete TV series seasons one through six new DVD set. That is a funny show. We used to watch that all the time over and over again. She's just hilarious. Um, so that, I'm glad to see that has value. So this was free to Kat and she flipped it for $35. Then we've got Suzanne Downing. She is out in Montana. Maybe you have seen the interview we did. She really hustles it and actually does road trips to go do her sourcing because she lives in a very rural area where there's just not a lot of stuff. Okay, she said, best sale for me of the week. I found two Johnny Was shirts where she paid $2.50 each. This one sold in less than a week for $80.10 with free shipping. Seven years on eBay and it never gets old. Yes, I agree. So this was a Johnny Was long sleeve top. Uh, it's embroidered. Okay, Amy bought a whole bunch of small games at Goodwill for $0.99 cents to $1.99 each. Saved some and listed some. Most have sold. The lowest priced one I've sold was for $20, so I've done well on this purchase. This particular game I paid $1.99 for and sold for $35 plus shipping. This did sit for three to four months. I just have a few games left from this purchase. This game is Nodwick, the card game, Jolly Roger Games, and I'm showing you this because A, I've never heard of it, and B, these little card games do have value. So if you're not looking in that section, I'm not a big board game seller simply because I don't want to figure out if it has all the pieces. Some people are really into that and they're really good at it, but I just don't have the patience for that. But something like this would be very easy to, um, you know, ship and it's just like a pack of cards. So take a look at those if you're not looking in that section. Okay, Janae paid $5 at Goodwill, took a couple of months to sell. This is a pink tool belt multi-purpose with storage pockets kid size five dollars and she sold it for 40 that's a fun little item Carrie paid a dollar and one cent plus tax at Goodwill sold in a couple of days this is a lovey the brand is kids preferred it's a white fleece lamb with a gray star it's just a cute little lovey that's what they're called that's like the buzzword for the little stuffed animal that is attached to a blanket these can be mixed in with the toys or the linens or anywhere really um, it's kind of just a hybrid of a blanket and a toy so your thrift store may not always be putting it in with the toys it could be in the baby section or the linen section or mixed in with the plush stuffed animals these can be really high profit check out my playlist with my top 100 items and there's a couple of these on there all right michael bought at an antique store for 28 dollars and sold in three days for 94 dollars plus shipping this is a canada goose miniature decoy by Captain Harry R. Jobes, Aberdeen, Maryland. So basically a duck that sold for $94. Well, actually it's a goose, but you get the idea. Dawn paid $1 for this, listed it for 100, took best offer of 80 in less than 48 hours. This is a Miss Elaine nightgown, size 2X. And she does a nice job of presenting these with her mannequin against that wood fence background. And then she's got the skirt all pulled out so you can see it's a full skirt. These vintage nightgowns do sell for a lot of money. So that's another section you can check out if you are not looking there. Kim paid $8.99 at Goodwill for this Hooked on Phonics set. Sold 
for $44 in a week or so. And these are cassette tapes. So not everything is streaming, not everything is through the internet. Some people do prefer cassette tapes. So that was a good flip. She paid $8.99, sold it for $44. We've got Anissa again. She found a bag of these at an estate sale and paid 50 cents each. Originally listed as a set, and when I ended after a month and listed it as singles, I sold both for a total of $44 in 30 minutes. This is Mr. Clean Auto Dry Car Wash Refill. So it's a car wash solution. So she said she paid 50 cents each and then sold them for a total of $44. Love stuff like that. Stephanie purchased this at a yard sale for 25 cents. My friend joked, no way will you ever sell that. And it sold for full price in two days. This is a discontinued Department 56 Halloween Witch Lamp mole green so this sold in august it's a halloween decoration she got it for 25 cents and sold it for 65 dollars ken sold this wheelchair seat cushion he found it in the medical supply category found two of these new in package at the local goodwill for 8.95 each sold one to a gentleman in Texas for $85. Once it was delivered, he offered $70 on the second one, which I accepted. Both were plus shipping. So I turned a $17.90 investment into a $155 sale. This took about two weeks to sell. And what a great item. I mean, how easy is that to ship? It's lightweight and it's gonna help make somebody really comfortable bad enough to have to sit in a wheelchair but now this person has a comfortable seat okay Dawn she paid 99 cents took best offer of $35 took about a day to sell this is a Christopher Radko Tweedledee and Tweedledum Christmas ornament 99 cents sold it for $35 this also was sold in August so again I'm going to keep saying this Christmas sells all year if you have it listed. You never know. And see, it sold in about a day. So if she was having that faulty thought that, oh, I'm going to wait and sell this closer to Christmas, um, you know, she's just leaving money on the table. So 99 cents sold for $35 in a day. Christmas sells all year. Okay, Melissa bought this for $5 at Plato's Closet, sold for $83, including shipping. Took a little over a month to sell. And I picked this one to talk about because don't forget about your consignment stores. You can find good stuff there, regular priced or on sale. These are a pair of Citizens of Humanity Emerson Slim Boyfriend Crop Jeans. So, bottom line is jeans. $5. Plato's Closet. Sold for $83, including shipping. Don't think that everything in a consignment store is going to be marked up. Um, they can't sell it for what you can sell it for because consignment stores are limited to their foot traffic. Unless they're listing stuff online, which in my experience, most of them don't. They don't want to fool with it. They don't know how to do it. They're intimidated by the shipping, all of that. They just want to have their little store where people come in and buy stuff. So they are limited to the foot traffic and who walks in and sees the item and buys it. On eBay, we're, we have unlimited access to millions, billions of people that go online to shop. So if you haven't checked out consignment stores, do so because you will be pleasantly surprised at things you can flip um, because they cannot command the same kind of price as we can on eBay. All right, Anne paid a dollar for this Bible, sold in two weeks for $36.49. And it looks like a nice leather bound Bible 
So check those out. Another great thing to look for if you just want to scan the books real quickly. I always look for leather bound Bibles because they're great sellers. Okay, Alicia bought at ARC, I'm not sure what that is, I guess some kind of thrift store, for $3.99. They were listed for about eight months. This is a card game, a sealed boxed card game. $3.99, sold it for $55. Suzanne Tucker paid $9 at Goodwill, sold for $72 plus shipping in one month. This is an equestrian riding show helmet. Isn't that pretty? $9 sold for $72. So sporting goods is another category that um, some people don't even want to worry with it because a lot of sporting goods are awkwardly shaped, hard to ship, heavy, but these kinds of items, these helmets, are going to be in the sporting goods section and this is a small, easy to ship, won't break kind of item. Exactly what I like. <laughs> okay, Allie. Thanks to Casey Vetterly, I knew to snag this guy without even looking up comps. I couldn't find the exact model, so I based comps the best I could. Bought for $3.97 at Goodwill and sold for $50 plus shipping within an hour. This is a Don Joy knee brace. $3.97 sold for $50 in an hour. Again, I will reinforce if you have it, list it. Don't let that stuff pile up. Things can sell within minutes, hours, days, or weeks. So if it's not listed, you can't make any money on it. All right, we've got Eileen again. Sold these vintage drawer pulls that cost me $2.50 at a yard sale. Sold for full asking price of $27.99 plus shipping. Took three months to sell. And you can see it's just a pretty set of 12 brass drawer pulls. Um, easy to ship, small. I love those kind of things. Janae paid 50 cents at a rummage sale, sold in a week. This is another dead tech kind of item. Scotch high bias type two audio cassette tapes sealed in the package, a lot of six. 50 cents sold for $29. Nancy bought this at the bins for under $3, sold in a couple of weeks for full asking price plus shipping. This is the perfect wedding board game, 1993 Vintage Complete. So, I mean, that just looks vintage. <laughs> $3 sold it for $75. It's just an old vintage item somebody wanted. And we've got Ashley who paid $2 at a thrift store, sold within two weeks of best offer for $50. This is a Bright Future Baby Morgan acrylic thermal baby blanket. This is not the one with the colored balloons on it that I talk about in my 100 items playlist. Um, my 100 bolo items so you can learn what things look like. There is a baby blanket with pink and blue balloons on it that can sell for over $200. This is the same brand but it's just the plain one and it's still sold for 50 so baby items linens if you're not checking those out maybe you should Andrew picked these up at a yard sale for a buck each and sold them in a week for full price of $30 this is a set of two nerf rebel sweet revenge five shot guns they shoot out the little nerf bullet thingies. I actually found something like this, the Rebel Sweet Revenge line, in the trash at my apartments and sold them and they went to the Philippines. So it was something I just found in the trash and sold for about the same price. So I always look for those. Okay, Cheryl sold another piece from my humongous Chico's haul from an estate paid three dollars took best offer of 40 sold in about a month and you can see it's just a chunky red and black statement necklace that Chico stuff sells for a lot 
Rachel paid $2 at an estate sale sold in less than 24 hours for $80 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1990 Galoob baby face doll. So you can see a very specific looking face on this doll. She paid $2 and it sold for $80. Rebecca, garage sale find. $20 listed for one month at $95. Accepted best offer of $84. Going to the UK. Buyer paid $60 shipping as it's quite a heavy uniform. This is a vintage 90s US Army dress blue uniform. Very nice looking. Miraf paid a dollar at an estate sale, took best offer of $90. This is a exerciser thing. Swing Master Deluxe Aerobic Exerciser. Original swing machine and then the model number. So it looks like one of those um, shiatsu massager things, but it's a different type of exerciser. Etta picked up a huge box of vintage cross-stitch kits at an estate sale for $10. Sold this lot in less than a week for $55 plus shipping. Sold the other lot of eight kits from the same box for $40 plus shipping in about two days. One huge lot left of 41 kits still for sale for $250. Definitely recommend keeping an eye out for these. Great seller and always move quickly. And they are lots of dimensions, cruel, and cross-stitch kits. So she just put a bunch of them together. One sold for $55, one sold for $40. Patricia bought for $50 at QVC for hubby for Christmas, but he doesn't want it. <laughs> Sold for $95 with free shipping in about two months. This is an Amazon Echo speaker. And then we've got Doreen, who paid $1.50 at a local thrift store for these Beavis and Butthead plush. Once listed, they sold in under a week for full asking price of $49.95. So $1.50 sold them for $49.95. Okay, Jody paid $4 at a thrift store, sold in two days for best offer of $70 plus $7 shipping. This is a Bucilla stocking kit. New in the package, $4 sold for $70. And if you have not checked out my needlework course in the premium library, I go over all this stuff. I know a lot of you don't even attempt this niche because you think you have to know everything about sewing and needlework and you don't. It's, it's really easy to learn what to look for, the keywords to use, the different types of stitchery. I've got all of that laid out for you in my course. So. If you come to the premium library and all you want to do is take this course, it's totally worth your money to do that for a month just so you can learn about this niche because it is very high profit. Okay, Laura picked up at Target Saturday morning, paid $10 each, listed for $55, accepted $49 plus shipping, sold the same day. This is the Target 20th year collaboration collection. Lily Pulitzer napkins. So eight count package of napkins. She paid $10 and sold them for $49. Okay, Amy paid around $10 at Goodwill. All are brand new and sealed. Debated keeping them as we homeschool, but listed them a while ago. I believe back in May. Sold for full asking price plus shipping Sunday afternoon. This is Disney Presents Bill Nye the Science Guy DVD set. So it sold for $79.99. She paid $10 for it at Goodwill. We've got Jackie who paid $8 for this Jim Shore Christmas figurine and it sold for $54 plus shipping in just a couple of weeks. This was back in September and it's a Christmas item so Christmas sells all year. 
We've got Larry and Kim who paid two dollars for these Doc Martens combat boots and they sold for eighty dollars. Took about a month to sell. Kim paid eight dollars and sixty-five cents at Goodwill. Sold for seventy-five dollars in less than two weeks. First time finding this brand. I think it was in one of Suzanne's Bolo videos. Yeah, it was in a video in the premium library that I uploaded, gosh, that was probably about a year ago. So Roberta Roller Rabbit is the brand and it is a like a house dress tunic type item. Paid $8.65, sold for $75. And we've got Lewis, picked up two of these at an estate sale as part of a $40 bundle sold both within 24 hours of listing each of them for full asking price. This is a Walt Disney Pinocchio singing Christmas figure. So he got two of them and sold them each for $89.95. That's a nice flip. Wendy, who does very well with jewelry, she paid $10 at an estate sale, sold for $70 plus shipping, took a year. Also had this listed on Etsy. I love selling jewelry, but some of it can take a while. This is a vintage Weiss butterfly brooch pin with rhinestones. Lara just sold, posted last night, another Target 20th anniversary purchase. This set was $29, sold for full asking price of $90 plus shipping. Philippe Stark for Target, complete toddler set. So this is a toddler sippy cup, a bowl with a lid, and some utensils sold for $90. I mean, think about this. This is just some plastic stuff. It was $29. She sold it for $90 plus shipping. Shannon bought for $5 at a yard sale, sold in about three months. This is a funky Mad Packs Bubble Monsters backpack. So it's kind of puffy with all these different little characters on it. $5 sold it for $50. W.J. Miller paid $1 at a garage sale, sold for $49.99, 59 minutes after listing. This is a Hennessy Cognac blanket, new in the box dollar sold it for $49.99 this was probably like a promotional item maybe somebody got it for free if they were a sales rep or in the food alcohol industry there's all kinds of gifts out there that circulate and they can be worth good money as you see Cynthia purchased this silk dress designed by Australian designer Colette Dinnigan for two dollars at a Salvation Army store sold for best offer of 45 plus shipping in three weeks and shipped to Australia. So there you can see a pretty embroidered dress and it was $2. She sold it for 45. It's going back to Australia where it was made. Okay, we've got Zena who bought this at a garage sale for a dollar. Saw that on eBay it was selling for quite a bit working. This was not working, but maybe someone would want it for parts or to repair it. Listed it for $100 just to see what would happen. I accepted a best offer of 70 plus shipping. By the way, this is my first time posting. I've always gotten nervous to post, but this time I got the courage. Well, I think you have posted more since this, Zena, because I have seen your name on some of the entries on the Money Making Monday, so you should always post. Don't be nervous. This is a vintage Seiko chronograph watch and she said she was selling it for parts or repair. So it was a dollar and she took a best offer of seventy dollars. That's a nice flip. Rosalie purchased Starbucks Alaska mug at Goodwill for two dollars, sold in one month for thirty eight dollars plus shipping. It's a cool looking design there with the moose and the mountains and the river and it's kind of cool the way they it's a sort of geometric looking 
Angela got this shirt for less than a dollar and accepted an offer less than five hours of listing. It was my third sale on eBay as I am a new seller. Well, congratulations. This is a Vertigo Men's 5 Extra Large Pink Button Front Long Sleeve Shirt. So this was only her third sale. So those of you who are hesitating, who haven't started yet, uh, the longer you wait, the more money you are going to forfeit. <laughs> so just do it. Just go. Just get those listings up. Just start. There's no reason to wait. Joanne bought five of these for a dollar each at a garage sale. Sold each one for $19.99 plus $5.50 shipping within 10 minutes of listing. And this is a Michigan safety license plate. Another Starbucks mug. Rachel paid $2 at an estate sale. It sold in two weeks for $53 plus $10 shipping. This is a Starbucks City mug, Jacksonville. $2, sold it for $52.99. Melissa paid $2.50 at a thrift store, sold in less than 24 hours for full price of $55, including shipping. Mine sold for slightly higher than previous comps, but I still can't help wonder if I could have gotten more. This is a Pound Puppies giant brown stuffed dog. She paid $2.50, sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. Okay, we've got Lewis again, who paid $3 at Saver, sold in about two months for asking price after I dropped the price from $99.99. This is a Disney Pixar Toy Story Mr. Pickle Pants. He's our, our cover man on this video. $3 and it sold for $84.95. So a nice kind of unusual plush item with a fun name, Mr. Pickle Pants. Vanessa paid $1.08 at a thrift store, sold in about a week for best offer of $34.01. This brand always does quite well. These are loudmouth golf shorts with the shamrock design. Okay, so you would think St. Patrick's Day, but they sold in September, so there are no seasons. $1.08, and she sold it for $34.01 plus shipping. Amy, don't be afraid to buy things with monograms. I only paid $2 each for these high quality bed wedge pillows. Sold for best offer $40 plus $22 shipping, sold in two days. So these are monogram pillows and she's saying it doesn't matter if it's monogrammed and I agree. Some people just like the high quality thing, whatever it is. It doesn't matter if it has a monogram on it or not and it doesn't even matter if the letters match their initials. They just want that high quality item. Okay, we've got W.J. Miller again. I bought about 300 Japanese records from the early 1960s for $50 for about 16 cents each. This is the most recent lot to sell. I, it took about three weeks. So far I have made about $250 and have sold less than 15 percent of the total number of records. So this has got to be the most random item ever. <laughs> Japanese records from the early 1960s. And he sold this lot of four, I'm sorry, seven for $69.99. And he bought 300 records for 50 bucks. So he's got a ways to go, but making great money on these. That wraps up this random stuff edition of Money Making Monday. I hope you learned some new things. What a eclectic mix of stuff, but just goes to show you can make money on pretty much anything. Thanks so much for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.